What's up, y'all? This is Henny. And listen, today we're going to talk about this. This is the new Magic Keyboard from Apple, the 2021 version in the 12.9 variant. Why did Apple make us pay another $350 for this when it literally looks and feels and seems like it's the same as this? Let's talk about it real quick right now. Let's go! <laughs> So this is the 2021 iPad Pro Magic Keyboard in the 12.9 size. As you can see, it's basically the same packaging as last year. I went ahead and opted for the space gray version again just because I knew that if I got the white one and I spent this much money on it and it got as dirty as I think it will get over time, I'd be furious that I paid that much money for this keyboard and it smudges like crazy. So went ahead and got the space gray again. Now, as you can see, this is my wife's 12.9 Magic Keyboard from last year, and this is the brand new one. If you look at them side by side, they literally look identical. It's hard for me to see what the difference is when you look at them from you know each angle, honestly. <laughs> They look the same to me. I really don't understand the difference. You know, as I try to place my wife's 2018 iPad Pro inside each Magic Keyboard, it fits perfectly fine. And as you can see on the box here, it says that this iPad Pro will work with the 12.9 inch third, fourth, and fifth generation. So this Magic Keyboard will work with all the 2018, the 2020, and the upcoming 2021 iPad Pros in 12.9, yet the new iPad Pro won't work with the older keyboard. Why? 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 Why do we have to pay for this? I do not understand. Yeah, I mean, all around, they feel the same. They look the same. Uh, the materials are exactly the same. The keys feel the same. The trackpad looks and feels the same. The angles uh, are the same. The camera cutouts on the top left side feel the same. I was looking to see exactly where these electronic buttons connect and they look like they're in the same position as well. I, I literally have to look at my order to make sure I ordered the 2021 and I know I did because it was either in white or in space gray. Y'all have to tell me why we had to pay another almost $400 for this keyboard when we already had a 12.9 uh, that worked perfectly fine. Why couldn't they have just made this work with the new 2021 models of the iPad Pro? If you recently pre-ordered the iPad Pro 12.9 and invested in this new keyboard, just know that it feels and looks exactly like last year's model. I, I cannot find the difference. And maybe somebody who's ordered the Magic Keyboard and has received theirs as well can let me know in the comment section because, hey, <laughs> I don't know. You can tell from a year of use, it still held up pretty well. Of course, it still holds the smudges uh, pretty strongly. Sure, you're going to have to wipe down these keyboards quite often if you want them to look pretty good. If they use the same material in white, it's probably going to get, uh, it's going to be a smudge yeah, it's, 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 it's going to love getting smudges on them. So, yeah, I was hoping maybe the material changed. Maybe it was a little bigger. Maybe it was a little thicker. Not from what I can tell. So, that's it. I don't know why Apple made us pay another $350 for this Magic Keyboard for the new 2021 iPad Pro. And maybe it really comes down to the parts and how it's laid out and how they have it specifically um, set up internally with the new iPad Pros. But from what I can tell... These things look exactly the same. So, hey, that's just my first look, my unboxing, and my questions on why we needed to buy this new Magic Keyboard 2021 when it looks almost exactly like the 2020 Magic Keyboard. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on the new Magic Keyboard 2021. If you bought the Magic Keyboard last year, are you frustrated like I am? And... Um, you know, if you already pre-ordered the new iPad Pro for this year. Hey, we're going to be talking a lot more about these, a lot more about what's going on and how they work as soon as all the parts come together. I'll be giving that to you soon. So make sure you like and subscribe if you're not already, and I will catch you in the next one. And I'm out!